What is body contact? In ringette, not all body contact results in a penalty. A minor penalty is committed if a player uses any part of the body to contact an opponent in a forceful manner. When is body contact a penalty? When contact is forceful, an advantage is gained. The introduction to the handbook on body contact defines advantage as a player being knocked down, a player being bumped off the ring, or a player being prevented from playing the ring. Let's watch an example. In this clip, the white player will use her body to knock the blue player off of the ring. The contact is forceful and advantage is gained. Here's an example where two players get involved in lots of contact back and forth but where we won't assess a penalty until the end, when advantage is gained. Turning to our handbook on body contact, we learn that there are four principles of body contact. We should be considering these principles and their application each time we assess whether or not to call a body contact penalty. The first principle is, every player is entitled to occupy any vacant space on the ice in which they are permitted to play. The second is, every player has a responsibility to avoid body contact. Let's see some examples of those two principles in action. In this first clip, White will skate through Red's position in order to get to the ring. Based on our first principle, she is not entitled to Red's position as it is not vacant space. Additionally, she does not attempt to avoid body contact. In our second clip, Black is occupying space on the ice and Green makes an attempt to take that space, which she is not permitted to do. Our third principle is that a player may move to vacant ice provided that the player does not initiate contact with an opponent and moving opponents are given an opportunity to avoid contact. And finally, our fourth principle is that a moving player who recognizes a situation where contact might occur must attempt action to avoid it. Here the white player is going to move into vacant ice in front of Blue, the ring carrier. However, white must ensure that Blue, the moving opponent, is given an opportunity to avoid contact. She fails to do so. In this next clip, White positions herself on the ice to be immediately behind Black, the ring carrier. The ring carrier is not aware that White is there. However, White should recognize that this situation could result in body contact. She is therefore responsible to attempt action to avoid it. She will not do so. We will now show some additional clips to further demonstrate body contact. These clips will be presented under three scenarios. Contesting a free ring, checking the ring carrier, teammates of the ring carrier. Scenario 1. When contesting a free ring, players are equally responsible for avoiding contact. Here, both players are responsible for avoiding contact. Both players are eligible to move to the open space where the ring is. Blue will fail to take action to avoid contact. In this play, notice that White attempts to stop one or two strides in front of Blue, giving Blue the opportunity to avoid contact, which she fails to do. Both players were responsible for avoiding contact, and only White made an attempt to do so. In 
In this final play, Blue establishes body contact against Red and ultimately knocks the Red player to the ice while contesting the free ring. Scenario 2. When checking the ring carrier, the checking player must take care not to take the space of the ring carrier or to position themselves in their path without providing the ring carrier enough time to avoid contact. In these next two clips, the checkers clearly fail to avoid taking the space of the ring carrier while making their check. Both times, the checker gains an advantage over the ring carrier through body contact. In this play, the checking player deliberately pushes the ring carrier over. In these last two plays, the defender skates directly into the path of the oncoming ring carrier in order to check her, taking her space and failing to provide enough time or space to avoid contact. Scenario 3. Teammates of the Ring Carrier Teammates of a Ring Carrier have a greater responsibility to avoid contact with the defender, as the defender is expected to apply more focus to checking. In this play, the Red Ring Carrier's teammate has a responsibility to avoid contact with the White Defender. She has both time and space to avoid contact, but fails to do so. In this next play, the black ring carrier's teammate will use her body to make contact with the red defender to keep her from being able to make a play on the ring carrier. We will now discuss major body contact. A major penalty for body contact should be called when the contact is sufficient for a penalty and the incident is deliberate and aggressive or the initial contact is from behind, or the initial contact is to the head. In this clip, the white player will make contact with the black player. The initial contact is from behind and is sufficient to call the penalty. In this last clip, red will bring her arm and elbow directly into black's head. A major elbowing call is probably more appropriate in this case, but this clip is presented here to illustrate the major call to the head or from behind. Remember, not all contact meets the principles we've discussed today. Here are some plays where there is definitely bodies making contact, but where it may not be appropriate to call a penalty. In this first clip, We'll see that the ring carrier skates directly into the defender's position. The ring carrier remains responsible to avoid body contact and the defender has done nothing wrong. In this second example, both players have an equal opportunity to avoid body contact and neither of them does. Additionally, the ring carrier sets her toes in the ice in an attempt to leap past the defender. Both players are responsible for the falls that follow, and neither should be penalized for it. In this final example, Red has a greater responsibility to avoid contact. Had she been successful in gaining an advantage from Purple, she might have received a penalty. The purple player is not responsible for the contact and should not be penalized. 